YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here uh, with another Power Rangers review. Actually a lot faster than I kind of thought I was going to pull one off. Uh, thanks to my good friend Jeff, who is Kari Hirokin on YouTube. Not too many videos, but a really good friend of mine. Uh, was at a Walmart today, and then he called me up and said, Hey, they got the Dino Rangers and Titanium over here. Get your ass over here. So I did, and picked up the Mammoth Ranger, T-Rex Ranger, Triceratops Ranger, and the uh, Super Legends Titanium from Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. Anyway, on to the actual figures, instead of ranting. Uh, we have the Mammoth Ranger, who is labeled as such, Full Throttle Mammoth Ranger. T-Rex Ranger. Triceratops Ranger, which is the only ranger to actually keep his color if you compare them to MMPR, which you shouldn't. But, uh, and Titanium from Lightspeed Rescue. It has Lightspeed Rescue's logo up there with a nice shot of Titanium, his weapon, and uh, originally from Lightspeed Rescue logo down there. Um, there really isn't too much else with the packages. They're kind of like generic Power Ranger packaging. Um, might keep a hold of this one because I think I still have uh, Zeos and MMPRs Super Legends packaging. But on the back, there's a cross sell for the 5 RPM Rangers and the Dino Rangers. And then for S Titanium and Super Samurai. Uh, there's also a normal Samurai Super Legends that's like a variant or update or something. I don't know the specifics, but there are couple. Sorry for the shaky camera, by the way. Uh, and on the back of these is the same cross cell that's on that. Just an RPM packaging. Uh, there's no sign of gold and silver on these packages, so I think the Dino Rangers were actually supposed to come out first and then gold and silver. So I don't really know for sure, but there's no sign of them on these packages. So I'm going to go ahead and pop them out we'll take a look at the weapons and stuff that come with the Dino Rangers and Titanium. Okay, so here's a look at our team of three Dino Rangers. Uh, Mammoth, T-Rex, and Triceratops. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick look at one of the figures since they all share the exact same body shape. There really isn't a point on going through all of them, but we'll take a quick look at their heads and stuff. Uh, here's the main body of the Dino Rangers. Uh, they share the same exact basic body mold as the uh, Core Rangers, but with some new additions. Uh, obviously, the body is a bit different. Uh, it has this very Shinkenger-like uh, uniform kind of look. Uh, I don't know if Bandai was trying to see how well uh, Shinkender's designs would go over, even though we're supposedly not getting any adaption of Shinkender next year. Um, we'll have to see. But and they might have been trying to test the waters for the kind of overcoat, jacket, whatever they're trying to go with here. Uh, uniform look, so I don't really know, but that's my guess. Um, on the side they have these train wheels. They're kind of hard to see because it's all just one giant piece of molded black. Uh, but they have two train wheels on each side as well as on their feet right here I really like the overall design uh, I think they're pretty cool I like Shinkender's designs too so I that's probably why I enjoy these uh, they're clearly used as cell shift morpher as their morphers if they were to actually exist because they have the uh, cell shift right here I'm gonna probably just take them off because I don't really like the Dino Rangers having cell shifts uh, it just doesn't make sense to me, considering everyone else has different morphers depending on what team they're in. So I'll just kind of like keep them separated. Here's a look at his helmet. The helmets on these guys are f phenomenal, to say the least. Uh, really nice detailing and really nice overall design. Uh, it's really a shame that they aren't going to be in the show from what we know so far. If they are, it'd be a total surprise and I'm really looking forward to it. But uh, as as we know right now, there's no sign of them in the show. Uh, each of these guys comes with a Nitro Blaster in sword form and gun form. 
a little villain. I don't know who this is. If you can even see it that well. Uh, I have no clue who it is because I don't watch uh, Go Onger. And I probably won't watch Go Onger, but uh, I think it might be the female villain. I don't know for sure. But we'll just kind of leave it at that. And then they come with the engine casts for their zords. So here's the Mammoth Zord. The T-Rex Zord. And the Triceratops Zord. Also, they each have their own signature weapons. Here's Mammoth Rangers. I don't know what it is or what it's trying to be. Uh, he holds them in his hand like this. I don't know what it is at all. I don't even have the slightest idea, so if anybody knows, that would be great. Because I certainly don't. Here's a look at Triceratops Ranger's head. Uh, it's very reminiscent of something from Dino Thunder. Which I don't mind in the slightest. Uh, same overall design. Train wheels on the side of the helmets. His signature weapon are these little guns. They're supposedly guns. From what I can gather. Here's Triceratops Ranger. Uh, his helmet's pretty wicked awesome too. Uh, same overall basic design but with a Triceratops wheel, obviously. And pop his Morpher off too. I kind of wish they would make a Morpher for these guys. That's original. I think it'd be kind of cool to see. Uh, his weapon is this lance spear thing, which is totally fitting considering he's a blue Triceratops Ranger. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Um, their weapons all combine to form a blaster type of nonsense. Uh, you take this piece and snap it in right here, and then you take his guns and attach them right here like so and hmm I wonder what that looks like <laughs> it looks a lot like the uh, power blaster from MMPR which is totally awesome I like all the little throwbacks we're getting with these three uh, pretty cool I guess there's no really easy way for them all to hold this but whatever uh, this does attach to the five weapons of the other rangers. Uh, their, their big gun thing just sits right in this peg here. And it forms an even bigger giant gun thing. Uh, I like that they all come with the proper accessories and everything. Uh, that's cool. I forgot to mention earlier, the uh, Triceratops and T-Rex come with a little grinder. Uh, we've gotten a lot of those so far. Uh, overall, I'm really impressed with these three. I'm glad I picked them up, even though they're probably not going to be in the show. Uh, I just kind of wanted to complete the team, and I'm really glad they did it. It'd be really cool if they would have released Rangers for uh, the Whale Zord and the Croc Carrier, but uh, can't have everything, I suppose. Hopefully, maybe, they still will. Oh god, Mammoth Ranger just fell. <laughs> Here is Super Legends Titanium Ranger. Uh, he's pretty standard for a Super Legends release. Comes with him and his Titanium Axe in the Gun Mode and the Axe Mode. I prefer the Axe Mode myself. Um, not too many detailings on him because it was a pretty basic suit design to begin with. Uh, you have the helmet, the V. Uh, same basic articulation as the RPM Rangers. Uh, the overall design pretty much nothing spectacular paint actually on the back for once uh, these shoulder pads are movable which I think is really cool so like no matter what position his arms are in the shoulder pads will fix himself uh, not as a uh, completely stellar release as uh, MMPR green and white 
and the Gold Ranger were, but uh, I think they picked Titanium mostly because it was our first uh, American Ranger, and I think they wanted to celebrate that, so they decided to release Titanium, even though he got a pretty good figure to begin with in his original release. I have no clue why they picked Samurai Ranger at all, but uh, Disney's first season, I guess. Whatever works. Uh, uh, quick shout out, special thanks to everyone who subscribed to me over the past couple weeks. Uh, the numbers shot up quite a bit, and I really appreciate it. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my videos. Uh, as long as you enjoy them, I hopefully you enjoy them. Please leave comments and all that. And I'll hopefully talk to you guys later. See you later.